right, the motor on this has been sitting a few days with ATF in it, so let's see if we can get it freed up. Full of water, look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at that water. Yeah, I don't know about this one. All right, that's how I got it. Um. All right, so let's see if we can break this loose. Oh, it's going. Is it going or just tightening? Oh, it's going. We don't get it. That's turning easier now. Oh, that's turning a lot easier. Guess what? It's full of water. <laughs> it's funny that the flywheel just happened to stop at the spot that it's been sitting in for the last 20 years. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're right. Pull it really You don't have a three, three prop puller? That's what keeps getting two freaking garages. Why don't you just bring everything here? Well, I took some stuff there. Stuff. That, I, I'm just trying to buy doubles of stuff, but. Oh, they're nice. Oh, 15, 16, 24 is okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> Flywheel could probably come back, be cleaned up. The stator, I don't know. It's a little rough. Which one is the one that gives a spark? I this? don't know. Probably that probably one. That one. So this is where we're at with this thing. So it's it's not seized up. It's got no spark. To make this easy, I put every single part off another wave runner. So let's just install all these parts in this motor.
Yeah, it's got spark. All right, great. All right, so here's the carburetor. Looks pretty rough. I mean, it's full of rust. But let's see if we could save this. Oh, that's a good start. So this wouldn't have ran. These diaphragms are too messed up. There's too much rust in here. Okay, so I'm going to lay this out. So here's the carburetor. We got that. And you only go one way. I think go right there, but you got three things on it. Guess that must be that. This. Okay. So this would not have run. See how dirty that is? Those are important that those work. See, especially right there, that would have stopped it from running. Okay, so we got this gasket. It goes down. And then this. This. All right, so this has been in here probably 40 minutes. Okay, so the way you set these, I counted them before I took them out. But you go all the way in, don't make it tight, and it was only half and a little bit more. That's where it was. So then you start out from that. And you see this has got a little H right there. That means this is the high-speed jet. So if the jet ski is having not running properly at full throttle and high RPMs, then you would adjust that jet. And this has got the L next to it. This is the low-speed jet. So at idle, if it's not running properly, you'd adjust this one. Half, a little bit more, okay. All right, you know what I'm thinking? Let's try to start this. A shot of two stroke oil, starting fluid. Nice. Okay, so that motor is ready to go back in, but we got an issue in here first with this jet drive. This thing is completely seized up, can't turn it, and uh, I kind of broke it trying to unseize it, so we got to deal with this.
kind of turn and stop. All right, I got this to unscrew. I don't know what's with this jet drive. Like it turns, then it stops turning. But like it turns a lot. The jet drive is gonna come out. All right, let's see if we can make one good drive coupling here. All right, so that's off the 650. We want to use the, see the one off the 500 smaller. Use that, because that's good. I guess we're using this, even though these ears are broken, that should be all right. But we need this shaft out of it. little bit more all right that's seated all the way All right, this is ready to go back in, but we got to take that jet drive out. That's seized up too. All right, let's uh, before tipping this thing over, let's just get all the 
whatever's in this tank out of it. Ugh. That's, wow, man, that's full of water. That's pure water. All right, I got almost everything pumped out of there, but let's deal with these fuel lines now. All right, so this is the return. That just goes straight back into the tank. Now we got, here's our primary, which this filters, kind of needs this filter. Look, that's all water right there. Let me order this. All right, so I got it on on. So you can see how the, the on and the reserve works. See the on just doesn't reach as far into the gas tank as reserve. And then there's a selector valve, so you, you switch that switch and it, it changes which thing it pumps from. All right, so now I switched it to reserve and now I can blow this, this out. All right, so since this fuel system was full of water, the inside of the tank is pretty dirty. One way to get that clean is to stuff a bunch of paper towels in there. Then use compressed air. All right, that looks pretty good. There's a broken bolt.
Check out these root systems that are growing in this thing. Thought this was a gasket or something. That's a root. All right, so this is seized up. Let's figure out why. Spins pretty good. Oh wait. Why in the shaft? Oh, I see what's happening. This is unscrewing. Okay, hang on. Jeez, it turns fine though. All right, so here's the problem right here. Look at that little bit of corrosion and it made that thing swell up. So let's see if we can get that cleaned out of there and hammer that back down. Seems all right. See, that's where it was. All right, so here's where the bearings are in this thing here. And I have new bearings, but like this thing, it just, there's not a drop of play in it. It turns perfectly smooth. I don't even think this is worth messing with. I'm just gonna put this right back together. This one, this. Yeah, see it's still, that's turning fine, and it's, it's together. This way. I like how they put this so you can't put it together wrong. I get that bolt out of there. These work good sometimes, let's see if that works now.
All right, I finally got it there. See, I got it out. The original threads are still good. Check it out, there's the entire drive out of a uh, Wave Runner 500. It's literally hanging from the carburetor right now. All right, so when this motor was in here, it had a handful of these shims in there. I didn't keep track of where they went. They're to make sure that drive shaft lines up right. My theory is, let me turn it over and see if it looks like it's running straight. And it looks fine to me, right? It had a lot of shims though. Maybe I should just stick a few in there. All right, I'm noticing some red paint right here, and this, these shims have some red paint, so let's put them there. You know what, that looks fine to me. I'm just gonna tighten those bolts down. All right, the throttle and the choker hooked up. All right, let's try to start this thing, but this could be cleaner.
Well, that runs. I guess it's worth trying it in the water to see how it actually works. I kept, it seemed like it wanted choke. I don't know how good that carburetor is, but. All right, so that wave runner is only running with the choke on. Usually that means it's an issue with the carburetor being dirty. Now this carburetor, you know, it's still pretty gross. Now I could spend, I could clean this again and really spend a lot of time on this, but you know what's a lot easier is just putting a brand new carburetor on. So this one looks a little different, but Wait. All right, so this one looks a little different, but it looks like it's gonna work. The important parts are like the mounting surfaces, so you can see they, that looks the same. So let's, uh, let's try this out, let's put that on there. All right, so since this is a little different, hoses go in different spots. So this line coming off the intake manifold, that's the pulse. And what that does is that uses the pulse of the engine to actually make this fuel pump work. And then these are labeled. So here's fuel going out. That's the return to the tank. And there's the fuel coming in. And that's the one that comes from the on-off valve, which comes from the either filter. See, these lines long enough. That fits right on there. That's too short. All right, I need a longer line for that. All right, so another thing that's really standing out to me about on this thing, these fuel lines, these are all 30 years old, and they're perfect. Now, if you go to work on a lawn tractor or something, or and it's got like this line, like here's a new roll of line, and I bet you, I gotta use this right now, but I bet you this stuff goes bad in five years. You know, it's just like it delaminates, it's just garbage. All right, the throttle's hooked up, and the choke. Yamaha Genuine Filters. All right, let's try it now, no starting fluid.
All right, well, that was cool. The My favorite part about this project is that this thing worked on the first attempt. It wasn't like it was in the water and I found more problems and brought it back. It was just put it in the water and it worked perfect. So definitely a success, especially since the condition this thing was in. This thing was pretty much garbage. So, and the other thing that's nice about fixing something that's really broken is that now I have like a really good understanding of how this thing works and how it's put together. So I feel like if there was ever future issues with it, you know, it'd be easy to fix. And, um, you know, anyone can just go buy a Wave Runner. It's kind of fun to bring one back from, from the garbage. So, um, so since it works good, I just ordered this piece of trim for it and I ordered a new seat cover. Check this thing out. Look how this thing starts. You know. You know, that's nice. It couldn't run any better than that. All right, well, this project was a success. Let's go uh, work on another one.